So, Fez, you want to keep uh, chewing tobacco in baseball? Oh, no, it's got to go. Well, you're, how's oh, that edgy? Come on. How's that edgy? Come on. It's changing the game. It's changing the history of the game. But you want it to go, and then you say, now I'm upset about what I want. Here's what one of your problems is, if you want to be edgy. You have to be on the edge of something. you got to be that guy who's taking an open... Yun. See, the fact that you're even trying to repeat something as stupid as me going open and you throwing in yun. You've got to be that guy who grabs that fucking point of view. You're flipping the script. Right now, you're edgy on both sides. Um, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, here's Mike in Queens. I got some uh, edgy news. Yeah. Um, a red-headed seal pup was shown by its community. Um, did that really happen? Yeah. In Russia. Yeah. Poor little red-headed seal pup. I know. Um, I'm going to start on my children's book. Oh. Okay, what's that? It's going to be called Ginger the Ugly Seal, who didn't, no one liked. Oh. Is that a happy ending? Happy in the, in the ending that it, it ends up cold and dead. Oh, God. Alone. That, I don't think we should give that to children. Well, there's the sea pup. Look at him. He is frightening looking. Well, he's oh. got like those crystal blue eyes that seals don't have. They said he's nearly blind. He's Isn't that sad that the better your fucking eyes look, the worse they are for you? <laughs> well, you're fucked. In this case, with the red hair, too. Ugh. Seal's probably dead right now. Poor bastard. Poor redheaded bastard. The weird thing is how he's able to look sad in the photo. It's a long or is that something we just project on it since it's a sad story? What is that thing called when human beings, they project human emotions onto animals? Mm. Empathy? No, not fucking empathy. It's like anthro... Morphism? Uh, something not morphism, though. Like pomorphizing, like anthropomorphizing. Anthro Anthropomorphism. Okay. Uh, attribution of human characteristics to animals, not living things. So when Fez hears a sad story about that, that he looks at it, he assumes that it's sad. But we do this, although you will never hear, like, like in our minds, all the animals are fucking friends with each other, like when we make cartoons about them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're hanging out. They're talking to each other. And yet, you don't see a lot of communication in the animal world. What animal do you think that we're kindest to? Uh, dogs. Well, the, let's go into wild animals now. Cartoon-wise, no. the bear, who really we're not that close with in real life. Oh, no, they'll tear our faces off. We hunt them. But there's very rarely a mean bear in cartoons. Oh, never. No, a bear's like a big cuddly guy that you hang out with. He's a good dude. Yeah, it's like, he's a good dude. Big guy. Yeah, they've done these fucking same animals maul children. Oh. They have done nothing to be able to get this kind of love and respect from us. Oh, fuck no. These things just want to fucking kill and murder. And they fucking. In real life, a bear would love to pull a baby out of your hands, run it deep into the woods, and chew it up. And that's a baby snack. But a dog, on the other hand, well, they have liked us. Um, now, uh, I'll give you another one that gets a lot of love from us. That's the mouse. Yeah. In real life, you don't want a mouse hanging around. In the cartoon world, oh, fuck the cat. The mouse is so nice. Look how friendly and nice the mouse is. Yeah, the cat is trying to kill this poor defenseless mouse. I'll give you another fucking lie from cartoons and why they're a waste. <laughs> You never see that half-circle door in real life that a mouse fucking runs through. No, it's never that easy. Jesus Christ. It's like a random crack in your fucking baseboard. That he slithers his uh. fucking way through. Slithers his fucking pestilence fucking ass through. Squeezing its fucking dirty mouse body through a tiny hole. You never see in the cartoon world 
It's Sammy the Friendly Snake. Mm -mm. Everybody like, even if it's a nice fucking snake in real life, it's the type of snake, because most snakes don't bite. Yet we despise snakes. Oh, yeah. A monkeys are fucking, will kill you in real life. I mean, you hear these fucking monkey attacks, you get their face, face bitten off. Yeah. Have you ever watched a single cartoon where a chimpanzee ripped the fucking face off someone? No. Someone that's given them nothing but love for 20 years? Fuck no. No. It's you won't helpful. do that. Elephant is another one. Elephant will fucking charge you. It'll stamp you, you to death. And yet, the rhino, treat it like shit. In a cartoon yeah, world. It's always a bad guy. The elephant treated very well. Now, none of the cats come off overly good in the wild cats. You know what I mean? No, no like your panthers. Your um, the lion is the close. The, the lion will get some love. Yeah, it's a little but noble. you will never say, oh, it's the friendly panther. Oh, no, a panther is always an asshole. It's the friendly leper. Uh, those things are fucking treated like garbage. But they now, will do this with the big cats. They will treat them as geniuses. They're like, e even if they're evil, they're very, uh, they have ingenious plots or they're like the wise rulers. It's the Round and Face show. And give us that phrase again. It's anthropomorphism. Pomorphism. Anthropomorphism. Now, Fezzi, of course, just explained the Lion King to us, which is one of them, but we don't want to use that across the board. Um, I don't know why uh, we're not nicer to snakes. Oh, we hate them. We hate them. We think they're just evil. Um, the hippo is always a happy, jolly animal in cartoons. Uh, let's go over here to Blake. Blake, you're on Fez. Ron, I want to warn you that the North American moose is the most dangerous goddamn animal in nature, and it will fuck you up, and those cartoons are misleading lies. Now, you will never see a mean fucking moose. Nothing. Now, a moose has been known to make a run at a fucking car and destroy it. Yet, in the cartoon world, it's easy going, a little on the stupid side. Yeah, easy to manipulate, but a good heart. It'll yeah. think it has a good heart. But anything with that carries a rack like that around on its fucking head. It's like fucking eight feet long. Um, let's go over here to uh, Freak. Freak, you're on my face. I'll tell you exactly why people like bears. It's because they sleep all winter. That would be our fucking dream. Um, it is a nice thought. But there's so many more animals that will also snooze out a winner, but you don't put up with it. Uh, Queen Elizabeth said there are no teddy cow dolls. True. Uh, the cow should get a nice fucking run from us. For his, you know, we milk cows, we eat fucking uh, cattle. Fuck yeah. You think that we would think of them a little bit fucking better. Oh, no. But I noticed this. If you have some kind of... Um, Cartoon friendship gang, right? Yeah. Where all the different animals are coming around. A cow will still more or less act like a fucking cow <laughs> in that. Like the other the other ones are talking and plotting and planning and working yeah. shit out. But a cow really seems that just come in and just act like a cow. we will just go moo every now and then. It's fucking udders hanging out. Um, 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. Tom, you're on a fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. yeah. Another way to think of that phrase is anthropomorphic. Thank you. Uh, cool. Um, and here's another lie from cartoons. When you run through your living room, you don't run past the same couch 500 times. Well, look, I know that you want to do some kind of stand-up from the 1970s, uh, or you remembered some fucking show in the 80s that would have young comics come on. Uh, I don't have any time for it. It's a completely different conversation. Mm -hmm. So you take your cheap rip-off bits... And you fucking post them over in the fucking corner. I'm looking for originality here. It's the edgy news. Let's go over here to uh, our buddy Arch. Hey, Arch. Not only do we hate snakes, uh, even in the freshman, Brando says the guy's like a snake in the grass. Right. Describes people that way. Well, it goes back, of course, to the Garden of Eden, uh, where the snake freed us uh, to become real. 
when we were nothing more than mythology. It's a couple of nude people hanging out. Nude people not having sex. Two yeah. nude people not having sex. Thanks to the snake, the human race was born. DTF. That's, by the way, this is mythology. I don't want anyone to write it down and think it happened in science. But we used that early on, from the very earliest days, to say snakes equal evil. Always. Never a good snake. I would love to do a cartoon where it was like a nice, friendly snake who would slither around and then get into nurseries and choke babies. Oh, I don't know if people are going to like that snake, though, if it's killing babies. But the snake wins. But it's killing children, like defenseless babies. Mark, you're on Run Fez. Mark. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to discuss the hippopotamus. In the cartoons, they're always discussed, they're always shown as kind of the synchronized swimmers, nice and sweet, where you get to South Africa, they're known as one of the most deadly animals. Those fuckers will charge at you and maul you at 20 miles an hour. I believe there's more hippo deaths in Africa than any other animal. They will kill more human beings uh, than any other animal. And yet, we equate them with fat ladies. Yeah. You'll never even see a male hippo most of the time. They'll just be fat, <laughs> giggling hippo women. Um, let's go over here to uh, Eric. Eric, you're on a fist. Yeah, I've got a perfect example of the uh, the ridiculousness of the cow. Have you ever seen Rocco's Modern Life? They have a character named Heifer, and he's this unisex cow. He doesn't even have a gender, and he's just the dumbest thing on the face of the planet. But uh, it's pretty funny. You're an adult. Uh, How could it be funny to you? Well, you know, because it's a funny show. You know, no, it's Australian, it's isn't it? You know? uh, Killer and PA, you're on Runa Fez. Killer. Yeah. What do you got for me, pal? I want to know why the fuck they let the skunk in the cartoon so sweet and cuddly when that bitch will spray you, chase you down, pipe you, spray you, have you stinking like shit. What's up with that? It's a very good point. We, for some reason, we love the skunk in our cartoons. Suave. We see the suave. Well, at least the one. Yeah. And yet, no one wants the skunk in real life. Oh, uh, scared shitless. They're fuck. If we see a skunk, just run the other fucking way. Most fucking animals are not easy to get along with. Oh, I don't know. They are most of the time. That if you run into a wild animal, they're as worse or at least as bad as a redneck. And yet the cartoons treat them just terrific. Oh yeah, greatest people alive. Now, if they're so fucking great, you ever see an animal draw a nice cartoon about us? Mm -mm. Never. No. I've never even seen an animal help another fucking animal. No, they'll just eat it. They'll just wait for it to die. And then fuck, mmm, dinner. Let's fucking go down. You know, that's the weird thing, too. That they will they will attack the sick. Yeah. And then you're just eating sick fucking meat. They'll eat the babies. They'll eat their fucking brand new babies. Well, just I would eat a baby before I ate something that had a disease. Um, Ormond in Virginia, you're on fest. Ormond. It's actually used. Do you think you'd actually use a flamingo as a golf club? I would. Jim, you're on a fez. Hey, guys. How about uh, Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner? Two of the dumbest animals in all of creation. And yet, the Coyote comes off really fucking idiotic. And the Roadrunner, I'm going to say borderline attractive. Kind of. And they don't even give a sex to that, right? No, it's, it's now, sexist. But it does have girl eyes. Yeah, and if you were saying that this coyote is trying to eat a girl, I think the kids would really fucking take it bad. Yeah, it's kind of androgynous, like David Bowie almost, the Roadrunner. At least in the 70s there. Um, Dustin, you're on fist. What about dinosaurs? You never see a mean one, a dragon. They're always kid-friendly. Well, except for, of course, the T-Rex. They will treat the T-Rex as if it's awful. Yeah. Was that Eddie Trunk's page? Yeah, I'm, I was just checking to see if he has any updates on it. Very vegas -y looking page. He, has, he looks like a magician in Vegas. <laughs> it's a really great look for him. I need a logo like that. Metal. Do, 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 do. Hey, Brian. Good morning, uh, Ron Fez Pepper. Yeah. Uh, Ron, you mentioned that uh, 
the uh, the big cats generally weren't portrayed very well in cartoons, but I remember uh, loving the Pink Panther when I was a kid. He was um, normally portrayed as clever and funny, and in most of the uh, episodes, he he did win out over whoever was uh, antagonizing him. Yeah, good point. I mean, there are going to be exceptions to every rule. But they had to paint him pink before you felt good about him. Yeah. Or any other fucking panther's black or purple. Have a black panther. Have a pro black panther fucking cartoon. And the uh, the fucking tea party will go nuts. Anthony, you're on the run of Fez show. Hello. Yeah. Greetings. The uh, quintessential, the icon for toys for kids for years has been the giraffe. Now, uh, would you want to stand toe to hoof with a giraffe? One time I was in one of those drive in parks and the giraffe came over and just started fucking with the car. What? And it was scaring the shit out of my kids. I mean, I was like, I will drive this fucking giraffe over. <laughs> you ever been in one of those parks yeah, where you just drive around? Flags, yeah. This fucking giraffe comes over, I guess it was hungry. They're so fucking big, you can't even fucking imagine it. I can't, yeah. That's and a giraffe will kick you to death. Uh, well, the fucking legs are huge. Yeah. A giraffe will kick the fuck out of someone. Uh, fuck. So they get in a tight space, and I had to fucking say, I will back this fucking car up and crack every fucking leg of this draft. Oh, God. Tell me I wouldn't end up in the paper on that one. Man saves family from wild giraffe. They wouldn't have said that. They would have said fucking awful drunk. <laughs> Fucking purposely <laughs> runs over <a> giraffe. <laughs> they don't give you a fucking break in the paper. I would have. Uh, Brian, you're on my fist. Hi, Ronnie. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. For some reason, if you put a goat in the stall with a horse, they become best friends in like a day. All these animals become friends with each other, and yet you'll never see them hanging out in real life. No. Never. Uh... Mickey, or Mikey, Milky, hey. Milky. Yes. Go ahead, buddy. Buddies, forgot about a kangaroo. Kangaroo always beloved, always hey. fucking beloved. If they're oh. always boxing, kick you right in the ribs. Well, that's because they box in real life. Okay, but they, I, <laughs> they'll put you. They'll put you in a ring with a fucking kangaroo. Ugh. And those fucking kangaroo legs will also can knock you the fuck out. Yeah, they'll fuck you up. Real quick. Rocco was a wallaby. Is there a big difference between a wallaby and a kangaroo? Yes. They happen to be from the same fucking continent, and that's about it. <laughs> okay. But I will tell you this. Every fucking animal out there, every one of them, feels like they're so fucking tough until you put a gun in their face. And then everything fucking changes. They get pretty pussy pretty quick. Really fucking quick. They'll start fucking sniffing around, waiting to run like they owe you fucking money. Where's their gun, huh? You don't got one. Ladies boxing kangaroos. <laughs> Holy shit. This guy's getting fucking fucked up. people up. <laughs> but not following any. Look how it tries to get in tight so and then use its legs. Shit. You didn't know about b real life boxing kangaroos? I, I've never like actually seen it. It was always it's like. A, him out. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they fucking invented MMA. I did look up some pictures of wallabies, too. They're much smaller. Yeah, yes. nothing like that. Kind of cute, though. Dare I say it. Then that means you want a fucking animal. Yeah. Go, look at this guy. He's staying in nice. He's stiff. He's fucking using his reach. But as soon as the kangaroo gets in close, it's fucking over. Yeah. And Dude, kicks I would love to take on a boxing kangaroo, except for I'll have a gun. And let's see how tough it is. My money's on you. Yeah, take a knee out. It's over. Knee. Fuck it. I'm face shot. <laughs> face shot right <laughs> through. Then just fucking stand over top of it. Empty out of the Let the kids go crazy. Kimbo Slice style. <laughs> Uh, Chad, you're in front of Fez. Hey, how you doing today? Yeah. Hey, calling you from Western Wisconsin. A buddy of mine's neighbor's got a farm. He's got these fainting goats. You ever heard of those things? Heard of them. Woman used to actually uh, produce my show. Um, Mike, you're in front of Fez. Hey, Ronnie B. Sound like a million bucks, babe. Hey, you know what I always hated was squirrels and raccoons. They're awful. They're like rats, but they make them seem all friendly, and I just want to kill them. Yeah, I don't like them either. They're like a rat with a better tail, and they scurry. I don't like anything that scurries. No. The scurrying fucking skeeves me. It's a fucking rodent, and it lives in walls and fucking among its filth. Well, they live in fucking tree walls. They get in fucking in a tree. Well, what I like to do, my fucking plan, 
is just take a gun and stick the fucking barrel in that fucking hole. And I go, come on out. You're so fucking prepared for the winter, you prepared for a fucking bullet in your head? Jesus. You like to pull guns on animals a lot. Yeah. I'll shoot a fucking lion in the zoo. I would just walk up in front of the kids and start blasting it in the zoo. Sounds traumatizing. To the children, at least, watching. They'll be traumatized into the fucking lion. Well, yeah, it'd be dead. And I'll, then I'll be yelling out the whole fucking time. Now who's fucking king of the jungle? Just fucking playing wet t-shirt fucking contest. And I'll fucking say to the kids, who's the fucking king now? Who's the king now? This sounds... <laughs> intense. All right, but suppose that somehow there's an open fucking door okay. and that thing walks out around the line and I got the gun. Then you're, then you're fucking glad to see me. That's right. Well, yes. just imagine that the door's open. Okay. I'm doing, I'm making it happen before it fucking happens. Oh. All right. I don't like these fucking animals that will, are, like, go to a fucking zoo and you'll just see the fucking lion looking at you. Oh, yeah. Huh. They showed this uh, thing where, um, uh, it was like a glass wall, and these people had a baby, and that fucking lion was so starving and just gnawing at the fucking glass, hoping for a fucking, hoping that it could be eating baby head. Oh, geez. But that would be like you being in the zoo, right, yeah. Hicks? And somebody coming by with a steak and some fucking nice steamed lobster oh, putting them against the God, glass. I'd love it. I'd break, uh, here's, there, here's a fucking lion trying to eat a child. <sighs> Jesus. Just hoping by some mistake that baby gets dropped on the other side of the glass. They're too stupid to know what glass is. Yeah. After all these years. They call glass a fucking force field. <laughs> fucking dumbass animals. Uh, Alan, you're on run a fest. Yeah, Ronnie. You know why sharks are so smart? They swim around their pr prey with their fin out of the water? Yeah. Because they don't like to eat their prey with shit in them. Oh, what the fuck you're talking about? What? Huh? Is it a joke that humans shit their pants before they see a, scar a shark, and then so there's no shit? If I was that one, I'd feel like the dumbest fucker ever. What a shitty call. Hey, Phil, you're on my fez. Phil, we got you? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, isn't that uh, anthropomorphism, or however you say it? Is that the same thing those furries think and all the ones that dress up in the big costumes and have sex with each other? No, that's just the opposite of them. They love to fuck each other. Yeah. But I think that's more about like kids that used to fuck their own stuffed animals like a dog will. And now they're adults and they can afford giant fucking... There you go, there's some furries. Mascots like really turn them on. I despise a mascot. I'd fucking shoot the Philly Fanatic if, it was fu if there was a season. Again with the guns. What are you afraid of guns for? You're from Rhode Island. It's a hunter state. I know. It's just. I feel like I feel bad for all these mascots and animals running around pulling guns on. It's just. Oh. I have no fucking time for this. Man made the gun. That makes us fucking number one. That's right. Before that, well, all we had was sticks. Oh. We were about thirtieth, fortieth, and that was working together with sharp sticks. The fucking day the gun was invented, fuck you, it's over. It's on. Gun? It's done. This is the thing. If you have a gun, you can say to yourself, you know what, I could beat Mike Tyson. Now, there's not another fucking day in your life that you would be happy to climb in to a fucking ring no. with Mike Tyson. No, I get your ass But imagine this. You go in there, shape your in now, Hicks. Oh, Jesus. You're smoking a cigarette. You're fucking drinking a beer. You're yeah. walking down there. Tyson's in there. He goes, this is fucking tomato can. This, this is going to be joke. easy. All of a sudden... You fucking go pulling that fucking barrel out of your fucking, oh. out of your belt and just fucking turn it sideways like a gangbanger yes. and say, I can't wait for this fucking bell to ring. Because the second I hear a bell, I'm putting two between your fucking eyes. Fuck yeah. I will That's... shoot you the second time before you hit the floor. This sounds fucking great. Let's do it. And these matches would be over so fast. Let's do it. Come on. And now you have people who want less fucking guns in the world. Do you know how many animals are out there? More I wish we had smaller fucking um, guns so we could shoot bugs with them. Oh, that would be great. I wish, I'm telling you right now, if you could come up with a little fucking tiny gun that you could sit in your house and shoot fucking flies with, <laughs> you'd never own another screen. You would leave the fucking door, you would leave your doors and windows open and stand there with your fucking fly gun going, please buzz in here. Fucking target practice right there. And then, give it a generation and flies would see humans and run. 
That's right. Get the fuck away from us. You know and by run, I mean fly with their fucking crusty little wings. Oh. Nasty. I wish there was a bear trap for a fly. I'd fucking sit it down there. Um, hey, Rob, you're in my Ronnie B., uh, what about the tiger as uh, sort of a, a nerd character or uh, like Tony the Tiger or Snagglepuss? Uh, definitely the tiger's being portrayed as, as gay, uh, sort of, which is probably the worst thing you could call a tiger. I know that there's some fucking point here where you're hoping to win me over, you think, by pissing off Fezzi, but he hasn't paid attention to the show since we stopped letting him read. At one point, he brought up dogs, the best wild animal, and then he sat back and, and just, I seen him do a rocker tag. But you're not going to sit here and attack Fez and feel like you're on my side. It doesn't run down that way. That's right. By the way, Hicks, yes. are you wearing that Zoo York shirt to taunt me today? No. Because I'll fucking drive to the Bronx Zoo today. Hey. I will bro I'll drive to the fucking Bronx Zoo today. I guess we can get tickets to get in there. I'll get your gun. Give me my fly gun. And then get me my fly girls that are always fucking dancing behind me. <laughs> J-Lo, too. She was one of them. Don't you forget that, J-Lo. She's proud of it, though, right? I would hope so. I mean, that, that was a great fucking performance she put on. Dan's behind the Wayans Brothers. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> and Jim Carrey. I'm telling you something right now, because you keep trying to fucking change the subject. <gasps> if you want, we're, we're done the show. What time today? Three o'clock. Me and you are going to the fucking Bronx Zoo, and I'll go run in that place like I'm Nino Brown. I don't. I will fucking gain the respect of every wild animal out there. We'll treat like the Carter. King of the Jungle, fuck you. Kind of turn me on this. I think it would be fun to do that. Guys, you don't want to kill those animals. They're, people take joy in seeing them. They, yeah, they like seeing them in, behind fucking bars. That's just jail for animals. I mean, when you really look at it, it's fucking disgusting. Shitty and shit. I remember, like, uh, they would take us to the Philadelphia Zoo. And it was the world's oldest zoo, which meant some of the cages were made out of concrete. <laughs> I mean, it was just, you would go in there with the monkeys, right? And you would see them, they would be like living inside a concrete Fuck. fucking thing, I guess like Africa. Um, and me and my friends, you'd be like in first or second grade. We'd be spitting down on them and shit like that. Like, or you're just taking peanuts and throwing it as hard as you can. You got nail them, man. And I was thinking in the back of my mind, I go like this. Hey, well, how much fucking concrete they got in Africa? And then the teacher goes, said no. The, and I go, oh, well, at least it's got a fucking house now. Not like those stupid African monkeys. No, yeah, those guys are fucked. They're just trying to find some shade. Look at that fucking chim What is that, chimpanzee? Uh, I believe so. Smoking a cigarette. That is fucking amazing. That's awesome. Good for him. What zoo is that that you're allowed to smoke? Not sure. Oh, standing up. Jeez. I don't believe the internet. It's standing up and smoking. I, I believe this guy. I don't think that's real. It's 100% real. It's, I don't believe anything on the internet. No, it's true. Look, this guy's enjoying a cigarette. All right, now you could pull a gun on that, because that's scary as shit. Oh, this fuck, this monkey's gorilla is smoking a cigarette. Look, it looks like a human. Who's letting all these gorillas smoke? Who cares. Next, they're going to ban chew. They, they're in fucking prison, basically. Let them smoke. Don't be fucking racist with us, Cito, because I don't put up with your goddamn white suburban racism. Uh, look who it is. 3-0 and on top of the tits league, the blowhard. It's still early, and I got a feeling that Earl is rising. I got a feeling. Don't be racist. Yeah. I, no, I think Earl's on. Earl's going to be uh, a contender this year. Earl's team is scary now that he's paying attention. You know, I was thinking about cartoons when we were kids, and one of the funniest cartoons, and you talk about hippos being so dangerous, mm -hmm. was a little African guy inside the hippo's mouth playing the xylophone on the teeth. But the one monkey, the one thing I really can't stand is the monkey. Uh, we grew up with the monkey. I don't like monkeys. I, mean, I, mean, McGill I McGill don't Gorilla. like monkeys. Exactly. And we grew up with McGilla Gorilla, Lancelot, Link, Chimps, Monkeys, whatever. And then I went on a school trip when I was a kid to the Bronx Zoo. And it was horrifying. Shit All throwers. Scream, shit, throw shit. Just 
they fuck. I mean, masturbate. But you got to understand this. You know who else throws shit? Guys in prison guys or guys in the psych ward. And that's because that's all they fucking have. All right, thanks, Blowhard. I fucking feel for those goddamn incarcerated animals. In my world, you would take these things out of the zoos and put the animals in their natural habitat, the circus. Oh, they're kind of, they're... Where they can actually uh, learn tricks to entertain people. You get a job as an entertainer. I thought they were kind of like beaten into submission to learn those tricks. No, they love it. Oh. They fucking love it. That, when I was a kid, uh, I told you my grandparents were carnies, right? Yeah. Well, this is this guy that had this act where a bear would come out on a unicycle. Nice. And I'm like, this is amazing. And what they would do, they would put him on this little unicycle. Oh, yeah. And then they would drive spikes oh. up through the pedals and into his feet. And he was trying to get out. You know, he was oh, trying to get out. No. And it would move the unicycle around. And it was so fucking cute. I don't, and those things, I mean, they would only live like two or three weeks before you had to get a new bear. That's cute. Yeah, it's fucking really cute. I'm sorry, Hicks. You're driving nails into it. I mean, I, you can't trust a bear, but you shouldn't be you know, driving not, nails into it. He's not letting him smoke. Who, wait, hold on. Who told you that? Your heroin-addicted father? <laughs> You want to start out arguing for no reason? I'm only going to get into it. Why, why does my father have to come up here? I'm just saying that your dad was a junkie and I'm leaving it at that. Yeah, well, I think you, it fits into this argument. Well, there's fucking animals getting nails in their fucking feet. They've got him entertained. Wow, well, Point you're, Bennington. You, uh, your dad put a spike in his arm and there was no fucking reason for it. I, well, you wanted to get high. I think that's a pretty good reason. Dad, can you come out of the nods and sign my report card? Oh, no, he couldn't. Poor bastard. I bet he couldn't pick you out of a lineup, could he? Probably was tough for him. Didn't know my birthday or anything like that. You ever, you ever see him in a lineup? Uh, no, but I know he's done time. And the only picture Hicks has of his dad, you can see his exact height because it's <laughs> fucking lined up behind him. What are you laughing at, Fezzy? Your dad's not even alive anymore. All right. Thanks to you taking him out, fucking getting him candy. Was your dad a diabetic? No, no, he had perfect blood sugar and lived on a diet of candy. Oh. I didn't know that. Uh, let's go over here to um, Brian. Brian, go ahead, buddy. Hey, uh, my parents used to take me to the Philly Zoo when I was little, mm -hmm. and they had the concrete cat house. Yeah, I, I remember you, that. At feeding time, they'd bring them inside. And you'd sit there against the wall. They had, like, bleachers, concrete bleachers. Right. And when they'd start roaring, it would vibrate your inside. It was, it was so fucking loud. Ever. Yeah. It, it was so goddamn loud in there. And uh, the beauty of it is it did feel, like, dangerous, like any of us could be killed at any time. <laughs> See, if you have the cages... It looks cruel to the animals, but if you go to one of those zoos where they have, like, those lion compounds where it's all this wide open space, then you never get to see the animals. They do no They're too far away, and they never come out. Dropping truth bombs on everybody. Fez Watley, the new edgy Yahoo newsman, will story. tell you if you give animals space, they will try to get away from you, like they do in Africa. They will hide out from you if you leave them on their own. You know what I think that Fez is fucking covering right now? A giant brain. Like, yeah, let our bosses laugh as they walk by and they see you wearing a Fez. I know what it's hi hiding. A giant brain. Like a tumor? or Why are you going to fucking attack him today? I'm, I'm just saying! I'm not, I'm not attacking. Wait, do you think the fact that you're just saying makes it okay? I'm just asking a question. There right, be a so, problem with giant you, brain. So if you large. come in here, hey, fuck you, fuck stick. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Hey, I'm just saying something. These are just words linked together. They that's have no meaning. That's all it is. 